boxing first vlog back to hit you with another video this topic as you can see deals with siblings a couple you might not have heard about but they were active this weekend and it got me to thinking about this 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 issue when i saw the charlo fight from a year or so ago the twins going to be on the same card and just how Jamel's fight went after Jamal lost the belt. Anyway, it happened again this weekend. So I thought I'd bring it up to you because it's concerning to me. I understand it's good for marketing and promotion and boxing with family members and siblings is, is good support. But the big stage can affect the outcome and and people get knocked out is concerning. It really is. Now, we had the heavyweight champ, brother, get KO'd way early on the undercard. And it wasn't good. It was one of those KOs, southpaw position, blinded by the jab, same way the champ. Kind of knocked out Ortiz. It just happened in reverse to his brother, who's really not a boxer by craft. 34 years old, came in, I believe, 7 and 1, already had been stopped previously. So there's a bit of concern about the whiskers there. His hands were down throughout the last two rounds before the knockout, was coming forward. Very not very defensive. Now, I'm going to bring up the second part of this issue, and that's concerning the Alejandro brothers, who have some backing. And right off the tip of my tongue, I want to say it's either the Cruz camp that's supporting these two brothers, or it could be the Garcia, Mikey Garcia camp. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. But I know these guys have a foundational base. So they were on the card. Again, these are undercard fights that I like to bring to you guys because things happen that, that we need to talk about that need to be shared with the boxing community. And that's what we do here at Box First. We, we just bring you what's happening. So anyway, it was Arnold and Angel Alejandro. Both coming in making they, they waves, putting in work, taking it light from looking at the records. Uh, but they came in hard this time. There's a couple of vets from over in the Philippines that these two brothers faced. Now, Arnold did not fare well, even though he was winning on the card. He, he looked to slip up in the six and got hit with a right hook that put him down. Did not recover. I think the ref did a good job by stopping that fight. Now, on the flip side, Angel came in, fared pretty well, but seen the fight more counter-punching, more in-and-out style. I'm not sure if that's his style, and I bring that up because what is it a concern for what happened to his brother? Did he fight that way because he didn't look to, to make a mistake and also didn't look to, to to stamp the victory. He won the fight, don't get me wrong. They, they, they made good judgment on him getting the victory, but it wasn't spectacular the same way. I bring up Jamel and his victory on the past card from last year. Wasn't spectacular. Was the fight from the earlier that card affected him in that night? Did this loss of Arnold's, uh, Arnold Alejandro Affect Angel in his fight. Not sure. It's a good topic for us to talk about, bounce off of each other. And again, we all saw, well, I know I did. Salute to Jeff G5 doing his thing. We was on the live. And it was a slow fight, like I thought it was going to be with the champ. But the right hand being the right hand, it did what it did. But what happened to his brother, was that a reason he was not active as much and he was just really waiting for his time and being cautious so to speak I, I just bring this up to the fans I wanted to share this with you man 
This boxing first vlog, working overhead, just giving you the latest and good information, good topics to discuss with the boxing community, man. I salute to everybody.